EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Uh, 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 uh. It's in the game. <laughs> NCAA Football 2005. It's a very warm evening for tonight's game between the Auburn Tigers and the LSU Tigers. And here come the Tigers. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. And it doesn't get much more heated than this folks when these two teams take the field. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmaker. LSU needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. And I'd like to add one thing. Auburn has a good defense. But I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well. But not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. And they're ready to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 22, fields it at the three. They'll take over at the 20. They can't hear a thing down there. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Got away. Brought down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball of the 22. Drop back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. Third and eight. Ball on their own 22. This place is getting loud. Back to pass. Across the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Dropped by the tight end. Arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Punts the ball away. Number five, eight to the 45. Bounces off the would-be tackler. The defense did its job to open the game, and now it's the offense's turn. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Two tight ends here. They go with a run. He can scoop. Tackle. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. LSU comes to the line with three wide. 
throws it to the outside. The 10. Touchdown, LSU! This guy can really run away from a defense, Coach. Listen up. This kid is a big-time game-breaker. He has that kind of speed. PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. up to kick this one off. LSU is lined up with the kickoff. He kicks it. Number one, fields it at the three. He spins around. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll set up shot at the 18. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Throws to the middle. And he dropped it. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Second and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nickel defense. the ground with a tailback and he's tackled he carries the ball for three maybe four yards it's third down and six to go ball on the 22 the tiger bringing the nickel pack he drops back he's going left it's deflected so the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Auburn lining up the punt. Didn't get all of that one. Number five, balls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 49-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 49. LSU comes out with an eye formation. Spinning, brought down. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number 12 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. Got it to his receiver. And they make the stop. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw, plus a nice catch, and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and 10, they're inside the 20. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. They'll throw on first down, and they couldn't hook up on that one. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Now here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone, step up, and make a better throw. So it's second and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. 
Number 12 is back in the gun. They hand it off with a spin. And he's taken down. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 14. Number 25, the lone back. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Touchdown, LSU! The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Turning this one. Number 22 fields it at the nine. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 24 yard line. Barber sets up in the eye. Here's an option right side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And they stop him on the option. Well, oh, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play. Second and 13. Ball on their own 21. Auburn comes out with an eye formation. Inside handoff. He jukes. Spins upfield, brought down. When you break one like that, you gotta give credit to the offensive line. It's first and 10, ball on the 34. LSU lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down, across the middle. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Auburn sets up in the eye. He laterals the ball. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third and 10. Ball on their own 34. This place is starting to get fired up. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. Excellent open field tackle. Nice play call to get on the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third and long, it just makes them sick. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Auburn comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Here they come. He gets rid of this one. So it's second and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. LSU lines up with five defensive backs. They'll go with 
the run once again. And they make the stop. Couldn't get anything out of that. No game on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The student section's going crazy. Wants to throw outside. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. The crowd really making it difficult. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number 31 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 14. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. Auburn brings in their nickel package. On the ground, up the middle. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. LSU, 14. Auburn, nothing. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 13-yard line. Number 25 is the single setback. They go with a pitch to the right. And he stopped behind the line. They were trying to stretch it to the sidelines, but the defense was just too quick. Those guys were in the backfield so fast, I thought they were going to pick it off. Third and 11, ball on the 13. The Tigers line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Looking. Over the middle. Complete. Tackle. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and 10, ball on their own 27. LSU comes out in the shotgun. 391. Cut. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks. Pocket holds. Throws this one out to the right. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He jukes him. They'll bring him down, and he picks up great yardage on the run. Yeah, and it looked like everybody else was in slow motion on that run. Boy, this kid is fast. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He'll keep it on the ground again. And he's taken down a couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 43. Auburn lines up in a dime defense here. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. And they make the stop. What a catch. And that's going to give them a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and 10, ball on the 42. High formation here. On the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Six yard pickup.
Second and four. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Auburn comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He lets it go. Ball's loose. Recovered by the offense. And the offense gets another chance. Boy, that guy showed great awareness there and was able to pick up the fumbled ball to prevent a disaster. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. He drops back. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. That was a dangerous throw. No, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. The Tiger come out the shotgun, drops back to pass, throws it to the outside, and it's caught. Tackle. How amazing is that completion? Wow! What I'm wondering is what the heck is the defense doing on that play? First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Tigers set up in the gun. He'll get it again. And down he goes. One yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. LSU takes a timeout. It's second down and nine to go. This is the 13th play of this drive. They line up in a double tight set. Up the middle, and he's taken down. A gain of one. One yard gain on the play. Third and eight, ball on the 24. Auburn brings in their nickel package. Wants to throw outside. He catches another. And he's having no trouble finding the end zone, guys. Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three. Got him, Kirk. Three touchdowns already this half. PAT. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number one fields it in the end zone. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. This place is starting to get fired up. The student section's going crazy. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and ten. Ball on their own 20. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And he couldn't hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 20. Nickel defense. And off to the 
fullback. Tackle at the 23-yard line. LSU calls a timeout. Number 30 to put this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Number five takes it at the 49. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll go to work at the 45-yard line. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He tosses it short. Complete. They'll bring him down. Number that one, pass play one, goes nowhere. One yard gain on the play. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Across the middle. Got it. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. Looked like the defense might have been looking run. And they'll go with a no huddle. The Tiger bring in the nickel package. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. And he's tackled. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. They'll throw on first down. He caught it! Touchdown! Oh, my! When it rains, it pours. Ha! That's why I brought one of these. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch it, Coach. You're going to take an eye out. Put that thing away. Like Brad said, when it rains, it pours. I came prepared, my friend. Very funny, Coach. Now, seriously, can you close that thing off so we can see the game? And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, LSU 28, Auburn nothing. Number 41, ready to kick. He kicks it. Number 22, fields it at the seven. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. First and 10, ball on the 19. Number 24 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Little handoff, and down he goes. Short little gain there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running, and keep that other offense off the field. And it's been total dominance here in the first half. Our score, LSU 28, Auburn nothing. Auburn will be kicking off to start the second half. Number two, back deep to return. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number two takes from the 10. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 28-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. High snap. He's going right. Finds a man. He goes down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. They line up in a double tight set. 
toss. Throws to the middle. Almost intercepted. So they try the trick play, but a dangerous pass was almost intercepted. And I don't know if they'll ask him to throw for a while. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Pitch left. Brought down. So the halfback scampers for six on the toss. Gain of six on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Little handoff. And he's taken down. What a run. Man, this kid can flat out fly. A lot of kids are fast, but there's not many guys out there that can run as fast as this kid in pads holding on to the football. I agree with you, Lee, and he has such a natural running style. It's first and 10, ball in the 29. Number 25, alone in the backfield. He's going left. Incomplete. Second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. Here's a pitch, left side. Got an opening. And he shoved out of bounds. And what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win aided 40. Now that's bad. Non-win aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. On the ground, up the middle. And they make the stop. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. And this is the eighth play of the drive. LSU comes out with two tight ends. Back to pass. He's looking. He's going left. Incomplete pass. The big tight end let it bounce off his hand. That should have been six. You know he's used to blocking and doing all that dirty work. And when they call your number in the end zone, you've got to make that play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Nice play fake. He's looking down the middle. Way to look it in. See if they can get it in for the touchdown. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. The ball is tipped. And this one's broken up. Guys, yeah, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. They've got about 100 tight ends in there for this goal line play. Inside handoff. Little shake and bake move. Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the open, almost like a truck driving down the highway. Watch out. Looks 
looks like someone got a head start on the line. Fifth ball, head start on the offense. He got confused on the snap count. Yeah, but that's just lack of concentration. Summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. LSU is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 22 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 16-yard line. Number 24 lines up in a deep back, eye formation. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. Nothing going on that one. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 16. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. He gives a pump fake. He unloads it. And it's caught. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Third and eight. Ball on their own 18. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Back to pass. He steps up, looking, under pressure. He lets it go deep down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against the zone. You think the guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up, just like that. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Punts the ball away. Number five takes it at the 49. To the 20. Big opening. Touchdown, LSU. They got the kickoff, but they forgot to play coverage. It was like they would just stand around and watch it. Horrible job of coverage there. Tacks on the extra point. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, LSU 42, Auburn nothing. Looks ready to kick this one off. And they'll be returning this one. Number one fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll start this drive at the 18. Auburn comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Looks. Loose football. Number 67 recovers a loose ball. 
And they recover their own fumble. I'm going to tell you something. This guy has got to do a better job of protecting the football next time he gets it. Absolutely crazy. He's looking. They'll make the sack. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. They're down and long coming up here. They're deep in their own territory. And this place is rocking. The middle. Whoa, very close to his safety. That's not going to move the sticks. Well, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, LSU 42, Auburn nothing. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 30 gets it off. Number two, fields it at the 35. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. LSU comes out in the shotgun. It's a bad snap. And he's stopped behind the line. The quarterback draw, not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looking. He tries to spin, and now he's got room to run. And he's taken down. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 29. The Tigers bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. And they got it. Well, you can't blame the O-line when it's a cornerback who gets the sack. And especially when it's a crafty veteran like this guy. He does a nice job of disguising the blitz before the snap. You're exactly right. He's been playing one of the hardest positions in college football for four years now, and you can't do anything on offense that this young man hasn't seen already. Look for them to go to the air here. Back to pass, lets it fly, and it's incomplete. They stop him on fourth down. You talk about huge plays, this defense stood tall and shut him down. They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball, no, they faked it, it's tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. LSU has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He drops back, looks, wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. Dropped by the wideout. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 34-yard line. 
LSU. Lines up with five defensive backs. Let's it go. It's deflected. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Number 30 gets it off. Number two takes it to 36. Spin move. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. LSU lines up in a goal line set. Pull back straight ahead. Jufu. Tackle. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 45. Number 10 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first down. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. They hand it off. Brought down. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35. LSU comes out with an eye formation. A little handoff. Tries to juke. And he's taken down. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I agree with you. He's such a natural runner. Here's our Red Zone players of the game. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. Straight ahead with the fullback. And down he goes. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. It's second down and five to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in an eye. Up the middle with a fullback. And they make the stop. And not too much there on that run. Not too much. But the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 20-yard line. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? LSU is one happy group of guys right now. Nothing is more gratifying than embarrassing the team you love to beat in front of millions of people. And they did it. 
And we thank you kindly for participating in NCAA Football 2005. Our final tally in this game, LSU 42, Auburn nothing.